Hello again and welcome to your 16th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to introduce you to referencing with refs. Okay then, so Vue.js gives us a way to reach into our templates here and grab an element and then access data about that element and we can do that using what's known as refs. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna walk through a couple of simple examples. The first example involves this input box with a type equal to text. And what I want to do is if we view this in a browser, I want to get a reference to this element so that when a user types in it, I can see what they've typed in it, all right? And I can get other information about this element as well. So the way we use refs in Vue.js is to just give whatever element we wanna to reference to an attribute called ref and set that equal to whatever name we want to give this reference. This could be Mario or Luigi. I'm just going to give this one a ref of input. Okay, so now we can access this element from inside this view instance right here and get data about it. So to do that, what I'm going to do is a simple button down here and that says submit. And what I'm going to do is attach a click event to this. So that's V on, then click. And I'm going to set that equal to a function. Now we've not defined this function yet. So let's go and define that first of all. So in app.js, in the method section, let's create a function. And I'm going to call this function read refs. So this is a function. And inside here, what we're going to do is access those refs. So first of all, let's link this up to that function read refs. And how do we access now? The references that we have in our template. Well, we can do that by saying this, which references this view instance, then we have access to dot refs preceded by the dollar sign, like so. And that is going to get us a list of all of our references on the page or within this scope right here. So if we had multiple different elements with different refs attached to them, it would get us all of them by using this. So let's just log this to the console first of all, console.log, and I'll say this.refs. And if we save that now, and view this in the browser, if I type something in here, submit, then we get this log to the console. And this is an object. And this object is gonna have several key value pairs. And the key is gonna be whatever we call our refs. So right now we have a ref called input right here. Okay, if we had more, we'd have more keys down there for different refs. So if we expand this, you can see all the different information we can access on this reference, on this element. And one of them, which I want to demonstrate, is the value down here. So if you come down to V, you'll find value right there. So that's this element, uh, rather this um, string that we typed into the input box, and we can access it. So how do we access it? We say this.refs, then the name of the reference we want to access data from, in this case it's input, and then the name of the property from here that we want access to as well, and it's value. So if I save this and then come over here and say yo and submit, then we get yo logged to the console. Pretty cool, right? So now we access the value property of this element. And it's not just the value property we can access. Like I say, there's all those different things we can access as well. So what I want to do now is create a data variable to store this property in, this value right here. So this data property is going to be called output. And to begin with, let's just set it as your fave food, right? So if I save this now and output this to the DOM, all we need to do is come down here and say P, and I'll say your fave food, and then I'm going to say output, like so. If I save this now, then we see your fave food is your fave food because that's the value of output. But what I want to do is when a user types in here, update this using refs. So I can do that. If I go to app.js, in here, what I can say is this.output is equal to this.refs.input.value. Okay, remember, that's the value that we input right here. So now if I type in, for example, I don't know, pickles and press submit, now we get pickles there. Pretty cool, right? So we're using refs to update values in our data. So it's not just input 
elements we can use this on. We can use it on pretty much any element that we want. So I'll do another quick example here. So if I say div and give this a ref of, I don't know, test and close that off. There's nothing in there, just an empty div. But what I want to do, in fact, I'll say hello, just put that in there, some text. So now I can come in here and if we log this time, just the refs, save this and click submit, then we can see we've got two refs now. We've got input and test. So inside test, we also have access to all of this different data. So for example, I could get the inner text or inner HTML. So let's just do that. I say console.log this.refs.inner text. Save that. And if I click submit, I get undefined. And that's because I didn't say which refs I'm going to access. It is this time, this reference, test. So I need to say dot test, dot inner text. And now when I click submit, we get hello. Okay. So that's how we use refs to reference our elements on a page and grab information about them.